Welcome to the Golden State Warriors News Today channel. Take the opportunity to leave that like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go to today's news. Hello, Dub Nation. It's always exciting to connect with you, especially now as we are about to reveal the latest updates that could shape the future of our beloved Golden State Warriors. Before we dive into this roller coaster of information, I have one request. Show your support by clicking the like button. It strengthens our connection and helps us bring more amazing content to you. And if you're not subscribed yet, join our channel for an exciting journey. Don't forget to turn on notifications to stay ahead of the game. As we approach the end of the offseason, many of the major topics related to the Warriors have been addressed, especially regarding the roster and contract situations. However, some intriguing questions remain unanswered. Let's explore the most fascinating issues that are still unresolved. Firstly, it's surprising that Lester Quinones is still unsigned. At just 23 years old, Quinones showed potential last season, starting with a two-way contract before securing a spot on the main roster in February. Despite the murmured interest from the Philadelphia 76ers, no team seems to have signed him yet. What's holding this up? Are teams waiting to see if he fits into their plans, or is there something more at play? Another intriguing issue is Quentin Post's future. The Warriors selected Post with the 52nd pick in the draft and introduced him with enthusiasm, even putting him on the court in the final games of the Summer League after a minor injury. However, despite all these moves, he has not yet been officially signed to either the main roster or a two-way contract. The delay is intriguing and could signal that the Warriors are working on a trade or other transactions that could impact Post's future. And we can't forget about contract extensions for Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody, two of the 2021 lottery picks. The primary task for the Warriors this offseason is to negotiate these extensions. Kaminga is seeking a maximum contract, but it's uncertain if the Warriors will be willing to offer that amount. Moody's value could range between $11 to $13 million per season. Will the Warriors manage to finalize deals with one or both before the end of the offseason, or will we have to wait until they become restricted free agents in 2025? Speaking of negotiations, the Warriors may have missed the chance to acquire Paul George and Laurie Markin in this offseason, but the search for another all-star player should continue to be a priority. Stephen Curry reaffirmed his status as one of the best players in the world during the Olympics, highlighting the need for more support for him. Recently, three trade proposals have emerged to increase the Warriors' offensive talent, but none of them seem particularly attractive. Let's analyze these proposals to better understand what might be most beneficial for Golden State. First, the idea of adding James Harden might be the most viable proposal, even if it's not groundbreaking. Harden, despite being in somewhat diminished form, could provide the offensive boost needed. However, trading Wiggins and Payton for Harden would mean a drop in defense, which is something to consider. Secondly, Nikola Vucevic could help with frontcourt spacing, but his defensive limitations and high contract raise concerns. Is the cost worth it for the Warriors? Finally, Brandon Ingram is one of the most talented players among the proposals, but his fit with the Warriors' style is questionable. The cost of trading Wiggins, Peyton, Moody, and two first-round picks is high, and integrating Ingram into the Warriors' system could be challenging. As we explore these issues and proposals, the Warriors' season is rapidly approaching, and the answers to these questions could have a significant impact on how the team prepares for the upcoming campaign. The future of Lester Quinones is a mystery that might surprise us all. Will he find a new home soon, or is his absence from the market a sign of something bigger? His potential addition could be a key piece for any team looking for promising young talent. As for Quinton Post, his lack of an official contract might indicate that something big is in the works. If the Warriors are hesitating to secure a contract for him, it could mean they are planning a larger move involving Post. As a fan, I'm excited to see if he will be a crucial piece in some strategic scheme of the Warriors, or if there will be an unexpected opportunity for him to shine. The contract negotiations for Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody are crucial. Kaminga has immense potential, and his desire for a maximum contract shows the confidence he has in his game. Personally, I think he deserves a substantial contract, but it's understandable that the Warriors are cautious. Moody, on the other hand, has shown flashes of his value, and if he can get a fair contract, he could be a great asset for the team. I hope the team can find a middle ground that works for both sides, as keeping these young talents is essential for the future of the franchise. Regarding the trade proposals discussed, each brings its own set of challenges and opportunities. James Harden, despite his somewhat diminished performance, 
could still be a great addition to the team, bringing a new level of offensive creativity. However, trading Wiggins and Peyton for Harden represents a significant defensive sacrifice, something the Warriors need to carefully consider. Nikola Vucevic could be an interesting addition to the frontcourt, but his defensive shortcomings and high contract costs are concerns. The idea of bringing Vucevic to a championship contending team must be balanced with the team's defensive and financial needs. Brandon Ingram is an undeniably talented player, but the cost of acquiring him and his fit with the Warriors' playing style are points of concern. While Ingram could offer significant offensive value, the question is whether he fits well into the team's dynamic and if the investment is worth it. As a Warriors fan, I'm excited about the possibilities and eager to see how these issues will be resolved. The upcoming season promises to be thrilling, and the Warriors' success will depend on the strategic decisions the team makes now. I'm ready to support the team every step of the way and see how the future unfolds for our beloved franchise.